Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and I am so sorry that I am filming on my laptop. My, this camera does not want to record anything right now, so, and my vlogging camera is charging, and that would take forever because it's completely dead, and I don't have another battery, so, that's fun, but <laughs> we're just gonna make, we're just gonna make it work, and I wanted to do a fun video today, and it is a tag video. It's called the Sunkiss Summer Tag, and I'm so excited to do it because I haven't done a video in a long time, and I just really wanted to show you guys what have been, like, pretty much my favorites this summer, and because it's already July 16th. What? That's crazy to me how it's already July 16th. I, I can't believe it. Where has time gone? <laughs> but anyway, let's get started into this video before anything else goes kaput on me. <laughs> okay, so first question, and I'm reading them from my phone because everything else just doesn't want to work today. So anyway, okay, number one, <laughs> what is your go-to product for a sun kit summer glow? And it can either be, you know, bronzer, self-tanner, etc. My thing has been definitely, definitely, definitely from Becca. Becca's um, highlighter in opal. And this is in a liquid form. Love this so much. I do it right here, um, down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and obviously on this side too. And I also use it as an eyeshadow base or just a liquid eyeshadow. I absolutely love this. It just makes you look like you're glowing from within and just beautiful and vibrant and just beautiful for summertime. Absolutely love this. Go get it. Becca's literally has amazing, just beautiful things. So. Yeah. Question two is what book what book would you recommend for summer? And obviously I'm going to say The Summer I Turn Pretty. Let me go on this side. By Jenny Han. This is a trilogy and I have book two in my closet. I still have not yet to buy. Um will always have summer because I have yet to finish. There's something in here. I still <laughs> there's a paper in here. I just found that. Um, cool, but I have yet to finish the second book, so I definitely need to get a third one, but this is such a good, good book. It's so relatable for summer, especially for, like, younger teen girls, this one definitely, and it just has such a great story, and it deals with, like, drama and romance and boys and just friend drama, and it's just so much, so relatable. Absolutely love Jenny. Great, just easy read. Great how she writes. I love how she writes. And um, it's just a really good book for summer. Next question is, what is your signature scent for summer? And mine is definitely from Toka, and it is Love Yourself. This is in the rollerball because I like to take it around everywhere. I put it on myself so many times a day. And it just smells so beautiful and lovely and feminine. And I'm just going to smell it right now. And just, oh, just so beautiful. And I love this. I love Toka's perfumes anyway. It's been my new favorite brand for wearing different perfumes. They all smell delightful, but this one uh, really captured my heart, and it definitely has a great message. It says love yourself because you need to love yourself, and that's what I'm working on is loving myself more. <laughs> Next one is the sun is shining and it's time to get outside. What's your favorite thing to do? And I wish I could say doing something active like but I work every day, my, I work every day, so besides my weekends, and really I, all I like to do is just soak up some sun, um, <laughs> laying outside, catching my rays to get me darker, because Lord knows I need to be darker, I lost my tan from being down in North Carolina with Michael, it's gone, it's kaput, it's, because I've been inside, <laughs> I'm inside all day working, so, definitely doing that, but even though, you know, I really do. I do like being on the water. I love being on the water. Um, as you can see, me and Michael went kayaking. That's like the first time I've been kayaking. Kayaking. I've been canoeing, just not kayaking. And yeah. So you saw that. <laughs> I wish I would not. I was not going to. Going on another note, I was not going to vlog me kayaking because that would have been. <laughs> I probably would have lost control. Flip thing. I probably lost my camera if that would have happened. So, yeah. <laughs> but anyways. Toka. <laughs> and yeah soaking up some sun next question 
is you're on the boardwalk and your stomach is grumbling. What's your go-to beach food? Definitely popcorn. I am a popcorn girl. I absolutely love popcorn. Um, I don't like butter on my popcorn, though. Just, uh -uh, just give me the popcorn seasoning salt. Yeah, I'm good to go. Popcorn and a Coke. Or Dr. Pepper. So. <laughs> Next, sunscreen is always important, but it's in, it's a must for summer. So, do you either like body, face, or both? And for me, my favorite for all over body, so I do this on my face as well, is definitely the Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration Lotion Sunscreen. <laughs> and it's called, it's weightless, and it's 30 SPF. And it's a 12-hour moisture with hydrating ribbons in it, which I love. So, this is my Georgia, my heavenly Georgia. I love it. It's very, very messy right now, if you can see the cap of that. Even though my lighting is just, like, really messed up right now. But, oh, it smells so good. And, yes, it does say weightless, and that is completely true. I use this, um, I made Michael use it, like, when we were in Gettysburg, because it was very hot, and we went hiking, well, hiking, um, <laughs> it's so nice, it smells like beach, smells like coconut, and just, like, if you're on a beach, that's my favorite scent, I love coconut, um, and it's very, very, it is, it's very moisturizing, and it does feel like you're just wearing, like, regular, everyday lotion, so even, like, when I put it on my face, it completely weightless and I love that I love that feeling I've never had like those like other ones um like banana boat I'm not really that much of a fan of banana boat so but this is your girl's favorite right here so it smells great so there you go and it moisturizes you so you're not just getting the protection that you need from the sun but you're getting moisturized all day so there you go okay I don't even know what question we're on now. Let's see. That was number six. So number seven. After a day of summer in the heat, what would you do to cool off? You know what I like? I like myself a cold glass of H2O. <laughs> I love to get... It's my new cup, by the way. Pineapples. <laughs> you gotta get that water in you because I struggle pretty much at work to drink because I'm just like... I'm in the nursery, so I'm always feeding babies, always cuddling babies, always changing babies. Um, so um, most of the time I forget to drink some liquid in me. Like, I have a cup there, but I just won't drink it. I forget about it. So, yeah, drink my <laughs> drinking my liquid is what I like to do to cool off. So, yeah. Next is, how do you wear your hair in the summer? Down, ponytail, ombre, dip dye? <laughs> Um, I pretty much either, well, it depends on the day, how I'm feeling. Um, I will curl it, or these curls just didn't even stay, so. I usually like to put a half up in the summertime because it keeps it out of my face, and, or I put it up so the babies don't grab it and rip my hair out, because that's been happening so much. <laughs> so I like to, I don't know, I do, I kind of do everything. That's what, I do everything, yeah, curl, straight, ponytail, bun. Everything in the summertime. It doesn't really change from anything. So, yeah, do it, I do it all. Your girl does it all. Number nine, must-have nail polish of summer 2016. And even though it, I have nothing on my nails right now, it is definitely the Etsy cute as a button. This totally looks red, but this is pink. Um, It's a hot pink. Hot, hot pink. And it's just so cute. It's cute as a button. It is. It's very, very beautiful and definitely really, really great for the summertime. Especially if you have a tan, this color makes you look boss. <laughs> Looks beautiful. Absolutely love it. Big, big fan. Next is sometimes you just feel like you need to chill out and watch Netflix. What shows slash movies do you recommend for the summertime? Well... I recommend, what am I even watching? I don't know, I watch so many things during the summertime. Right now, I mean, I've been watching a lot of Hallmark. So, yeah, they've been having a lot of Christmas movies on, Christmas in July. So, but summertime ones, I really do love any, like, Nicholas Spark movie. How cliche is that of me to say that? But definitely, because they're all love and romance, and pretty much they're all based in the summertime. So, yes. 
in Because I Said So. I love that movie. If you've not seen Because I Said So, you need to. Because I Said So. Okay? Okay. And it's really, it's funny. It's, it's very funny. If you have sisters, then you can definitely, definitely relate to that movie. Um, number 11, do you wear liquid foundation, BB cream, or a tinted moisturizer in the summer? And actually, I wear all three because I like to switch it up, change it up, whatever I'm feeling for the day. So I will show you what I wear for my tinted moisturizer. is definitely my Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer. And this one is in, I don't even know what color this is in. Oh, this is in blush. I have the big one of it. And yeah, this definitely has been lasting me a long time. Plus, it has... 20 SPF in it, so holla at your girl for that. My uh, BB cream is definitely skeptical about buying this, but you know what? You gotta try new things, so don't brush it off until you try it. But it's the e.l.f. BB cream, and it is also a 20 SPF. Love it. It works great. E.l.f. products are just, they're great. They're just affordable, and they're nice. And this one is in buff, so yes, and it is messy. My caps always are so messy. And if I'm wearing foundation, which I'm wearing today, it is a True Match Lumi Healthy Illuminating um, Makeup with Sunscreen, also 20 SPF. So I'm always making sure my face is covered for the day. And this is in neutral, and the Lumi one is so, so beautiful for summertime. If I'm going to wear the foundation, because um, it's very dewy and it makes you look glowy and alive. And just, yeah, that summer glow you want. Instead of any mattifying ones. And none of these mattify my face. Which that's a good thing. Because I don't want it to mattify in summertime. I want to look healthy and glowy and illuminated. And I look illuminated right now. Because of this lighting. But ooh, there we go. Maybe that is that a little better? Might be a little better. But yeah. So I love the Lumi. Oh and if it, it's in neutral. If I, didn't, if I did not say that. Hang on. Next thing is, it's super bright outside. Do you reach for sunglasses or a hat? Um, I definitely reach reach, <laughs> reach for my sunglasses, even though, um, here's a fun story. I was, um, me and my friend Lauren went out, and we got food, and we came back, came back in. I had my sunglasses on top of my head, and <sighs> I don't know why, but every time I have the sunglasses with, like, the, the nose piece in it, they get tangled in my hair, and I should know better by now, because I've destroyed so many pairs of sunglasses from this. And, so yeah, those have messed up and broke my sunglasses, so I have to buy a new pair of sunglasses, and stop putting them on top of my head, because they just get tangled, and <laughs> can someone help me? Like, is there a life hack out there to stop that from happening? Because I need to know. Because <laughs> that happens so many, I just ruined my sunglasses from them, and it's, <laughs> I hate it. Mm. But, so sunglasses and ha hats, I don't know, I... I have a small head, so sometimes hats are just, like, way too big for me. So, yeah. Next is, what is your summer jam this year in uh, my summer jam? I have quite a few. I <laughs> I definitely love Jake Owens. Like, I can't wait for that album to drop. It, is, it, is it dropped yet? I don't think it is. I don't know if it is. But all of his new songs he's released, like, pre-early are amazing. They're so good. Um, I absolutely love American Love Song. That's freaking great. Um, I definitely, definitely love, um, From the Ground Up, from Dan and Shay, Holy, Florida Georgia Line, and, uh, Work, um, Work From Home is definitely from Fifth Harmony. That has been my jam. I know every single word I get down to that song. That's, like, my, it's my jam. That, that's, like, really great. I just bust it out every time I hear it. Love it. Oh, crap. Okay. Next song is, do you have a summer bucket list? If so, share some things on it. Um, I don't have a summer bucket list because I work every day, and the things that I really wanted to do, I've already done, and which was my vacation, and I was with Michael. So we did everything that I've already planned on doing this summer. Um, so yeah, I don't really have a summer bucket list. I'm just going with it. Whatever I, anything new pops up this during my weekends, that's like my time off, then I'll do it. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't really have a summer bucket list right now. I already did everything. And you guys have already seen it if you watch my vlogs and what I've done. Next is a bikini, tankini, or one piece. 
show us your favorite bathing suit this year. Well, definitely I have been loving my new uh, tankini because it's just cute. It's so cute. And I got it from Target and I've shown you in like other videos. You have seen it and I absolutely love it because it just, it opens up, it's strapless and it just like opens up and it just flies away. So I love it and it's nice and cute and it keeps me covered up because you know what? That's just how I like it. I feel comfortable that way. So yes. Next is summer means heat and sweat. What is your favorite sweat proof makeup, skincare, or hair care? And mine is definitely just clean face, nothing on. <laughs> nothing on, maybe, maybe, maybe some like BB cream, if that, and like mascara. And, but nothing else. I don't like it. Like if I'm going to go be doing something that involves me sweating, that means I'm just going to prepare for myself and, like, keep my hair out of my face, up pretty much, probably in a ponytail, and, um, yeah, like, a bare face because I don't want to sweat off all that product, and that's just gross, and you feel gross, and, yeah, you feel uncomfortable when your face is falling off. So, yeah, so clean, bare face is my go-to sweat proof because there you go. And I totally forgot where I was at. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um. Oh, last question. Here we go. <laughs> Summer wouldn't be complete without a scoop of ice cream. A scoop or two of ice cream. If you could create your own ice cream flavor, what would it be? What would it be? It would be something like tropical because I absolutely love just like that type of stuff like give me some lime give me some mango give me some pineapple give me some little bit of coconut in there that i don't know yet because i would take i'm not that big of an ice cream person to be honest i have to be in the mood to eat ice cream so i would take a smoothie over ice cream any day call me weird don't care hit is gonna hate but um <laughs> absolutely love that i love give me some smoothies give me all those flavors i love my smoothies Put it into ice cream form. Oh, that would be legendary. That would be. I'm going to do that. <laughs> or I like sorbets. So that too. So I like sorbets also. And that is the Sunkissed Summer Tag. Um, I hope you guys liked it. Um, I hope you guys get a little bit of input about what have I been doing this summer. What have I been wearing. What have I been enjoying. And, yeah, I love you guys so much. Um, thank you to my new subscribers. I love you guys so much. That make it just, I just get so overjoyed when I get a new subscriber, even though I know I don't have a lot of subscribers. I know you guys are all watching, and I absolutely love you guys for it. So, thank you. Thank you for sticking around with me, and you guys will see more of me very, very soon. Um, I will see you soon. Bye, guys.